Hello, CCP gang, child care provider gang. <laughs> so today I'm going to speak with you about another herbal remedy or health tip that I use, which is um, Castile soap. Now, there are different types of Castile soap. So I have two here. This one is eucalyptus, and then this one is the tea tree oil soap. And this is made by the uh, Dr. Brana Brothers. And I got these from, um, oh goodness, the vitamin shop. The vitamin shop, and I believe they were like $4.79 a piece. However, they are so much more worth than what you actually pay for them. I simply just love this soap because I noticed that um, with me having sensitive skin, with me working with children and being um, surrounded by so many, you know, little germs and things that I have to combat, um, such as uh, uh, some kids have ringworms or lice or other kind of um, little bacteria, it latches onto your skin as a child care provider. And um, I recently got um, sick where I had to be on an antibiotic. And one of the um, solutions for, for me to help the healing, the top surface of my skin of breaking out was to use um, tea tree oil soap, hence a uh, Castile soap. And let me just read to you about what Castile soap is. It is a, tr a soap that is made with all natural chemical free ingredients and it is a it is the best natural and biodegradable soap that can be manufactured by hand. It is not only a great soap for washing your body and hair as a part of a natural skincare routine, but you can also do a laundry with it as well. A castor soap is also very popular among vegans and vegetarians since it's plant-based. So, um, and uh, also another good thing about castile soap is it doesn't lose its, its potency with time and is often seen in the form of liquid castile soap or pure castile soap as a bar. So I use the uh, bar soap. And another um, good tip, you can use castile soap for um, children as well, children and babies. Any, um, it, it's, it's just that sensitive, but it's strong enough to whenever you're cleansing your body. I know it's with me when, um, cause I have very super sensitive skin. I, I never could use like perfume, um, soaps or lotions or those little bath bombs, those, you know, all of those type of, um, um, bath substances used to just really just literally break my skin out and just was terrible. So, um, I was glad to be introduced to the Castile soap because I do notice that it does clean your body thoroughly and it also leaves a sense of moisturized, moisture, moisture in your skin. Like, you know, you can sometimes use some type of, some soaps and some of the um, regular um, soaps that are not chemically free, they um, tend to just dry your skin out. You have to put a lot of, um, you know, oils and moisturizers and lotion, which is good to do that anyway. But I notice with the, when I'm using the Castile soap, I don't have breakouts. I notice, it, I notice that it gets me very clean. And I also notice that um, I have a sense of moisture in my skin still, where I, I can use less um, lotions and things for, you know, just to keep my skin very lubricant. Okay, some other, um, benefits of using castor soap. You can also rinse your fruit with castor soap. And uh, castor soap can also be used as a cleaning agent. You can clean your windows, you can launder your clothes with it. Um, it's just so many things that you can use for castor soap. So, now, the one that I um, use, I use the tea tree oil one. Tea tree oil is a natural anti-fungal anti soap, natural anti-fungal anti cleaner for, for me personally. Um, when I had got a um, terrible bacteria on my skin and I noticed that when I use this, and, and I don't, you know, I still had to get an antibiotic, but I also like using 
um, something natural, because after the antibiotic had cleared whatever I had out of my system, I was able to use um, something natural. And um, I literally love this stuff. I, so I use it like all the time. I have not tried the liquid one yet because every time I run out, of, run, um, run out of the bar, I just go get another bar. But this is going to be my first time using the um, eucalyptus soap. Now eucalyptus is um, good for a lot of things as well. But let me read you some of the ingredients that's in the um, Castile soap. Um, organic coconut oil, organic palm oil, um, organic olive oil, organic eucalyptus oil, hemp oil, jojoba oil, sea salt, and citric um, acid, which is another um, benefit for, and I guess that just keeps up with the, um, you know, keeping the soap in its um, best form. And I read you also about um, Dr. Bro Dr. Um, Bronner's. I, um, what really stuck out to me is my mom was born in 1948, so that's when this soap was made. So, I mean, I just lost her, um, well, she just graduated to heaven last year. So that kind of was interesting to me because my mom always used, um, looked out for sensitive things for me. And I don't know why, I just, that's just my own little personal connection with her. But it was established in 1948 by Dr. Bronner's, and he was a third generation master soap maker from a German Jewish soap making family. And he just started this to, um, you know, he was very envi environmentally responsible. So that's why he um, came up with these different types of um, health benefits. So, so I hope you try these out. I did not give you the details of what the eucalyptus is, but I can, I do have some de details of um, tea tree oil, which is. A popular choice for treating acne because it is anti-inflammatory and anti-microbial properties. It's, a, it's thought to calm redness, swelling, and inflammation. It may even help to prevent reducing acne scars, leaving you with smooth, clear skin. And the actual tea tree oil, you just be careful with that one because um, tea tree oil is um, invigorating, you know, you know, it's, it's really strong to a point for some people. And um, I thought that using the soap was going to be kind of strong, but it wasn't. It was very soothing, very relaxing, you know, no burning, no anything versus using the actual tea tree oil. And then the smell, I, well, I just, I love eucalyptus smell. I don't, I don't know, eucalyptus is like, an, a, to me with eucalyptus and tea tree oil, it's like a nice, fresh, clean, organic smell. And um, it's just very relaxing to me. So I, I love the smell of it. You can even take this when you put it like in your drawers or your, oh, I put it in my husband's armoire and it, it smells so good. Like, mm, I just love it. So yeah. So eucalyptus is, eucalyptus is an essential oil made from leaves of selected tree species, particularly eucalyptus, Oh my goodness, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Let me go ahead to the benefits. It improves respiratory conditions. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that was a long, that was a long word. <laughs> Salad, salisphial, I'm not even going to try it. They have a lot of supercalifragilisticexpialidocious words in here to describe the eucalyptus essential oil. So let's just go down to the simple ones. Okay, it improves respiratory conditions, it relieves cough, it improves seasonal allergies, it fights infections, reduces pain and inflammation, alleviates headaches, aids in wound care, and improves ear aches, and it boosts mental clarity, and mm, I didn't know that, it repels rats. Ooh, I hope I never have to find out what that's about. But yes, it's also a home disinfector. Add 20 drops to spray bottle with water or diffuse five drops. And it's a mold stopper. Add five drops to vacuum cleaner or surface cleaner. It's a seasonal allergy fighter. You can put um, two to three drops in a diffuser. And um, rat repeller. 
is um, you add 20 drops to spray bottle with water, cough reliever, two to three drops of, of eucalyptus oil with um, chest and back of neck, a sinus clearer, add one to two drops to a cup of boiling water, place towel overhead, and inhale for five to 10 minutes. It's a sore throat reliever, an earache reliever, skin irritation remover, and an energy boost, booster. It also is an immune system booster, diffused in a diffuser for about five drops. And last but not least, it's an insect bite soother, two to three drops on a clean cotton ball and apply it to the insect bite three times daily. Oh, I have three more. It's a headache reliever, diffuse five drops or rub two to three drops into temples and back of neck, and a muscle pain reliever. Add two to three drops to an area of concern for large area dilute with, car with carrier oil. And it also is a bad breath and cavity fighter. Add one to two drops to water, gargle, and then spit out. So it helps with a lot of things. So eucalyptus is, um, now I have the soap. So what I was um, telling you different things, oops, that's the wrong one. Um, I have the eucalyptus soap. So what I was telling you different things that the oil can do, but um, that's a lot of different things I um, was expressing to you about um, the oil, but the soap is, is also in a soap that you can use for bathing yourself as well. But I thank you for watching and I hope you try out these products because they are good and they are good for you. And just try it out and see how you like it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye now.